Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at Cartoon 2 from Dan Harlan and Royal Magic. Alright, so what is Cartoon? Uh, Cartoon is a card trick. Uh, you probably saw Dan Harlan do a version of this on Penn and Teller's Foolish. It's not exactly the same one. Uh, he did a special trick for Penn and Teller. Uh, but if you'd like to see what it looks like, here's the trailer. Here's one of my favorites. This one's called Cartoon. One of the best card tricks I've ever seen. Um, the beautiful part about this card trick is I don't have to do any of the work. You see, my assistant, Bob, is going to do the magic. There's Bob. Let's give him a big round of applause. He's a little nervous. It's his first time on TV. That's Bob. Now, he only does one trick, but he does it very well. It's a pick a card, any card trick. So Maxwell will tell you name any card. They're all in order. So anyone you'd like. Jack of clubs. The jack of clubs? Okay. Now we got to get Bob prepped here. He actually gets a peek at the card. So we're going to put it down. Bob, get a peek at it. Are you ready? He's ready. All right, guys. Bring him up. Let's get him ready for action. Watch Bob at work. In the cannon. Out the cannon. Do it. Come on, Bob. Don't let me down. There it is. The Jack of Clubs. Give Bob a big round of applause. There you have Cartoon 2. All right, so that was Dan Harlan. Uh, that was actually Oz Perlman in the video, but uh, very old school Oz Perlman. Uh, but Dan Harlan is the inventor behind this effect, and uh, this is the second version of it. Okay, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, cards. Uh, it is a card box that has cards inside of it. You're getting a full deck. All right, and uh, in that, you're getting written instructions, okay? Your instructions on how to do the trick will come on a piece of paper typed both front and back. Is it what I thought? It's exactly what I thought because as you just saw in the trailer, uh, that's what it is. I mean, it's really nothing more, nothing less. There's nothing to add or take away. Uh, it is a deck and you're just learning how to do it. It comes in a deck stack and you keep it in that deck stack and uh, the trick pretty much goes as is. Uh, the neat thing about this is it is also repeatable and I'll get into that a little bit later. How are the angles? The angles on this are really good. Uh, I would argue that you could probably do this uh, at any angle. You could do this in any setting. Uh, parties, close up, parlor, I think would all work very well. Table hopping, restaurant magic, walk around. Uh, I think cartoon works great in all of these locations. Can it be inspected? It cannot. This deck is completely gaffed, completely marked. If your spectator started going through this, at least backside up, they would see how the trick is done. So please do not hand this out. What's the overall quality and production value? Uh, first of which, uh, the deck itself, okay? The deck itself was uh, printed through Royal Magic and they used uh, Fun Incorporated as their printer. And I'll throw the Jokers and the Ace of Spades up here for you. Um, if you recognize that Ace of Spades, recognize those Jokers, then you probably know already the quality of this deck. It is very cheap, uh, very cheap deck, and it, uh, it kind of hurt my expectations because you know, uh, this, this deck costs $15. For $15, uh, you could definitely get this deck printed at a much higher caliber. And part of this trick relies on you spreading uh, the cards across the faces, okay? And uh, it also relies on a, a few slides, but not many. Those would work so much better if the deck had a better quality control with the paper. Uh, so you're really going to have to break in this deck. You're going to have to break it in, really, really bend these cards up to get the air flowing so that these cards spread. Uh, like you see O's do in the video. Uh, I, when you take these right out of the box, they're going to clump on you like crazy, and they're not going to move very fluidly from one hand to the next. So I would assume Fun Incorporated prints these for pennies. So the markup to $15 is kind of high. I would have liked to have seen Dan Harlan go with another printer uh, on this so that you could get a better quality card. The other thing about uh, production value is the fact that you get written instructions. I think in today's day and age, it would have been just as easy on the little piece of paper that wraps around the deck just to put in a URL and a download code. You don't need to include paper instructions with this anymore. Dan Harlan could easily just make one video, probably give you way more instruction uh, about how to do this trick, probably some of his tips and tricks, and just start releasing the deck that way. And so that if I could just make that advice out to Dan Harlan, you know, I think we would all appreciate that um, probably a little bit more 
Uh, and so just think about maybe increasing the quality of the deck, pulling out some video instructions. I think you'd have a bigger hit than you already have. How much practice does it require? Uh, not much, especially if you know your way around the deck already. Uh, if you can do like one or two basic slides, this will be very easy for you to do. How much setup and reset is there? Very minimal. You're keeping the deck in new deck order the entire time. Uh, and every time you do the reset, you're just sticking the deck back into the new deck order uh, and you're good to go. Positives. All right, so what are the positives to Card Tune 2? Uh, first positive is it's multi-generational. I think you can do this trick for little children and they will see how magical it is. And you can do this for adults. And uh, I think that's great. Very rare do you have magic that is very in that is intergenerational like that. Uh, second positive, I would say, is it's repeatable. Now you can break the rule of magic by saying that you wouldn't show the same trick twice to the same person, uh, but on this one, the ending is always gonna change. And so I think if you did this for different people in the room, I don't think they would ever catch on to what you're doing uh, because you, te you, you seem to be showing every single card. And so that's the brilliance behind this effect. So wonderful positives with this. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives to Cartoon 2? You know, like we said already, I think the price, the markup is a little high for the quality of what you're getting, and I would have preferred a video instruction. Is it worth your money? It's $15, okay? It's $15, and this definitely is a hit. If you read through the reviews of any magic seller, you'll see a lot of people really love this, have given this magic trick their highest reviews, so I would say it is definitely worth your money and a surefire hit. Who would like this? Like I said, people who are a fan of card tricks, fan of showing magic to children and adults, uh, want something that's fun for walk around. Uh, you watch the video, so you should know uh, whether it falls into that category or not for you. I think there's lots of people out there who will definitely love Cartoon 2 from Dan Harlan and Royal Magic. All right, so that was my review of Cartoon 2 from Dan Harlan and Royal Magic. I purchased my effect from penguinmagic.com, and I would suggest that if you want to purchase yours, you head there as well. Thanks. Bye.